Hi guys, with Sir Lindsay Hoyle facing potential removal as Speaker, he delivered an apology to both the SNP and the House of Commons over his decision to abandon the rules which resulted in the SNP's motion not being voted on in the House of Commons on Wednesday. A BBC journalist has claimed that the Speaker had been threatened with removal by the Labour Party after the general election if he didn't do as Keir Starmer wanted. Hoyle in his apology claimed that he did what he did to protect MPs from threats outside Parliament. However, there's a fundamental problem with that. I made a judgment call that didn't end up in the position where I expected it to. I regret it. I apologise to the SNP. Just, just bear with me for me. I apologise and I apologise to the House. I made a mistake. We do make mistakes. I am up to mine. I would say that we can have an SO24 to get an immediate debate because the debate is so important to this House. I will defend every member in this House. Every member matters to me in this House. And it has been said, both sides, I never ever want to go through a situation where I pick up a phone to find a friend of whatever side has been murdered by terrorists. I also don't want another attack on this house. I was in the chair on that day. I have seen, I have witnessed. I won't share the details, but the details of the things that have been brought to me are absolutely frightening on all members of this house, on all sides. I have a duty of care, and I say that. And if my mistake is looking after members, I am guilty. I am guilty because... Have some grace. Have some grace. I have a duty of care that I will carry out to protect people. It is the protection that led me to make a wrong decision. But what I do not apologise is the risk that's being put on all members at the moment. I had serious meetings yesterday with the police on the issues and threats to politicians, threats heading to an election. And I do not want anything to happen again. So yes, I will apologise. I always will when I make a mistake. I did. I offer an SO24. That is within my gift and power. But I will also say I will do whatever it is to protect anybody in this chamber or anybody who works in this house. That is my duty of care. Okay. The problem with this is that if you break the rules, in a sense, because of a threat, then you're just going to encourage more people to issue more threats. Because they see that well, I'm not actually standing up to these threats. I'm actually bending to these threats. Now, I don't know whether there was a, an actual threat or not. This is what Sir Lindsay Hoyle is saying. Um, the BBC journalist was saying that it was, wasn't about threats. It was about protecting the Labour Party, it seems. But either way, the Speaker is supposed to do his job. He's, now, he has said that he was wrong and he's going to try and fix that. But the damage has been done. I think what should have happened when it comes to the Labour Party is Keir Starmer, if he was concerned about a rebellion, he should have allowed a free vote on the SNP amendment, uh, sorry, motion. He should have allowed a free vote so that he wouldn't be facing a rebellion. His, whatever MPs wanted to vote one way would vote one way and whatever MPs wanted to vote a different way could have voted the different way. But there was an attempt to whip the party to vote a certain way and I think this was part of the mistake because if it was the case that Starmer was whipping the party and he believed that there was going to be a rebellion even though he was whipping the party then of course it would make sense for him to go to the speaker and try and do something about this because it doesn't make sense to me that there was a threat to MPs there are always threats to MPs why would there be a special threat to MPs on this occasion. 
it, it why wasn't the threat highlighted why was it brought to the speaker why was it a case of the speaker breaking the rules because of a threat so i'm i'm not completely i, I don't know i i'm not privy to what happened between starmer and the speaker but it sounds i'm not completely convinced that it was a it was about threats to mps it sounds more likely that it was an embarrassment for Keir Starmer. He put pressure on the speaker, uh, do it my way, and then um, otherwise we're going to have you removed. Now, Starmer has come out and said that was not the case. He didn't put any pressure. He wasn't so clear in his interview with Sky News about this, but he he denied make it put, piling pressure on the speaker. He said that he urged the speaker to take this action. Now, in the interview I saw, Starmer didn't mention anything about threats. It was about the uh, the policy itself. It was about Gaza, not so much about threats to MPs. Which begs the question, why didn't Starmer say, look, we're concerned about the, uh, the threat to MPs. This is why we asked the Speaker to, uh, to take the action that he did. So Starmer hasn't come out about this. It seems that the Speaker has. So there is a bit of imbalance here. Somebody is not telling the truth. Is it Starmer or is it the Speaker? But at the end of the day, if if there are threats, you changing the rules because of these threats just encourages more. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.